Okay, guys, sorry, I uh, just lost connection here. I'm on some public Wi-Fi. So um, the last question was, how do I choose a painting contractor? I don't recommend specific people because they may not end up calling the person back, but uh, here are some tricks that I've learned over the years and uh, from my experience with that. Um, number one, word of mouth. Uh, neighbors, coworkers, that's always the best way to find painters, especially if they've worked in their house, you can get a direct word of mouth. Uh, Facebook forums, garage sale sites, uh, local uh, town sites, you can just post, I'm looking for a painter, and you'll get lots of recommendations. A lot of people link their websites through there, uh, recommend people, you can find them that way. Uh, and, and the third best way is uh, to call a paint store. Call your local paint store, somebody who deals with a lot of painting contractors, and ask them two very important questions. Number one, who pays their bill on time? And number two, who's good to work with? And they're only gonna give you a couple names back. Uh, normally paint stores work with somewhere between 200 to 400 contractors in our area. Um, if you ask those two questions, you're probably only gonna get two or three names back. So that narrows it down for you quite a bit. Once you have a, a painter or, or a narrowing it down and you wanna set up painters uh, to come see your house, uh, a couple very specific questions you can ask. Um, Number one, are you bonded and insured? Um, and you can actually request as a homeowner or a business proof of insurance. That person, whoever carries their insurance, they can actually send you a certificate of insurance stating that this person is insured for this amount through this company and is in good standing. So, and that's free. It doesn't cost the contractor anything, doesn't cost you anything. Uh, make sure all employees or, or people that are working for them are either legal subcontractors or legal employees. Make sure that everybody who touches your house is insured, everyone's paying taxes, and everyone's on the up and up. Um, if if, the, if a, somebody comes to your house and sells you a paint job and then subcontracts it to another painter, make sure they are a legitimate painting contractor. Not only ask for insurance forms from the person who sold you the job, but you can do the same thing for the people who you subcontract that work for. Um, another very uh, differentiation between painting contractors is owners versus operators versus owner operators. Uh, an, an owner would be a person who does not actually paint but runs the company, maybe sells you a job, maybe has a salesman sell you the job, and then uh, has employees or subcontractors do it. An operator would be a single person, uh, somebody who you know is, is a handyman, a, a small business, and then there's an owner-operator. I'm an owner-operator. I run the full business. I do all the marketing. I do all the estimating, but I'm also on the job eight to ten hours a day uh, to actually do the work with my crew. Uh, differentiate between those and know what you're gonna get most guys will try to sell you a job uh, and then you will assume that you will see them again and, and you do not see them again so just don't be surprised but just ask them those questions um, outline their process when they do a bid they should walk you through everything from from the day they show up to do the work what they do how they do it how they lay things out what you expect them to get done every day and then at the end of every day you know get a plan from them for next day uh, and one of the most important things you can ask your contractor if you're gathering your three estimates for your paint job always ask you know over the last year how many jobs did you do and how many of those jobs went over the stated amount and was it the homeowner's fault for for adding things on or was it your fault for not estimating correctly and they'll probably give you a few case scenarios uh, I don't rely on um, uh, uh, word of mouth referrals when people ask for references things like that anybody can gather up three to four names of people who will say yes most of them will end up being you know neighbors relatives people who they have prearranged this for so don't don't go heavily on, on the uh, recommendations from the painter uh, of referrals, but instead, you know, call the paint store, ask them who pays their bill on time, who's good to work with, and then when you get them in the house, ask them how many times their jobs have gone over the stated amount on the, on the estimate. So uh, if you guys have any questions during the week, send them to me through Facebook. Uh, you can call my business line at home. Uh, any questions that you send, I will gather up and we will take care of them in future installments of this. So thank you guys so much for, for watching this and thank you for sharing it among people. I enjoy doing it and I hope you guys get something out of it. Thanks again and have a good weekend. Good job, guys. Otto started huffing and puffing. I know, he's fine. He's fine.